The most common causes of food allergies are nuts, in particular peanuts, milk, eggs, soy and seafood. These foods make up about 90% of all food allergies. Other less common foods include grains, sesame seeds, gluten, food additives, some fruits and potato. A reaction can occur if it is the whole food being consumed or if it's an ingredient in the food product or even a component of an ingredient in the food product. The incidence of food allergy in children is highest when they're very young. For babies under 12 months, up to 8% are affected and 3% of children under 5. Most children grow out of the allergy by the time they are 8 to 10 years old. This is because as our bodies grow, our immune system develops and learns to handle the food without an adverse reaction. However, peanut and fish allergies are much more likely to last into adulthood. Peanuts also tend to produce the most severe reactions and can quickly become life-threatening. So why do some people react and others don't? Not all of us are reacting actually to uh, food allergens and often what we see is there is an inheritance in it. So if uh, somebody in your family had a food allergy, there's a higher likelihood of you getting allergic. We can see this even in percentage. If one of your parents was allergic to food, there's a, about 20% chance that you actually get a food allergy. If two parents are allergic to food, there's about 40% chance of getting uh, allergic. And if both parents are sensitized to the same food or to the same pollen, there's about 70% chance you will get it sometimes during your life. Over the last 20 years, there has been a dramatic increase in the number of people with food allergies, particularly in Western countries like the United Kingdom, the United States and Australia. The reasons for this are poorly understood and a great deal of research is currently being conducted to investigate it further. One possibility is that due to globalisation and large-scale food production, we encounter many new varieties of food or traces of a food as an ingredient component unknowingly. Our body may not recognise the food and subsequently shows an allergy to it. A good example of this is a vegetarian who has never eaten fish who accidentally consumes food with traces of fish products in it. The person may have a negative reaction because their body doesn't recognise it. It can be difficult for someone sensitive to a certain food to find out exactly which food ingredient is producing the reaction. There are tests available, such as the skin prick test and blood tests, as well as the food challenge, which must be conducted in hospital. If you feel you may require testing, the best thing to do is talk to your doctor.